Okay, so solving for the actual time and approximate time. So for the approximate time, so all months with 30 days, so therefore in one year, that's equal to 360 days. And for the actual time, we're going to use uh, the number of days in a calendar, but this uh, February, that's 28 days. So therefore for one year, that's equal to 300 days. 65 days. Then we have this given to so find the actual and the approximate time. So from March 16, 2017 to August 23, 2017. Now to solve for the approximate time, we're going to use this uh, method. So days, month, and year. So start on August 23, 2017. So we have days, that's 23. August, then convert this August to a number. That's 8. Then year, that's 2017. Then for March 16, so number of days, that's 16. Then this March in number, that's uh, 3. Then year, that's 2017. Then you subtract. So we have 23 minus 16, that's 7. Then 8 minus 3, this one is 5. And 2017 minus 2017, that's zero. Now, since for the approximate time, so we have 30 days for every month. So therefore, for this month, multiply 5 by 30. Then you add, so that's 7, then 5 times 30, that's 150. So 7 plus 150, so we have now 100. 57 days for the approximate time and to solve for the actual time we're going to use the number of days in a calendar so for march since for march we have this 31 days and on the given it started on march 16 so therefore we still have 15 days left because 31 minus 16 that's 15 then for april we have 30 30 days for me that's 31 days for june that's 30 days for july that's 31 days and for august only 23 because until august 23 then you add all the number of days so that's equal to 160 days so we have uh, 160 days for the actual time then for this given, so November 5, 2003 uh, to April 13, 2006. So first solve for the approximate time. So start on April 13. So number of days, that's 13. And April in number, that's 4. Then year, that's 2006. Then for November 5, so number of days, that's 5. November, that's uh, 11. Then year. 2003 then subtract so this uh, 13 minus 5 that's 8 this 4 minus 11 cannot be so borrow 1 this becomes 2005 now since one year is equal to 12 months therefore this one is plus 12 so 4 plus 12 that's 16 16 minus 11 this one is 5 then 2005 minus 2003 and that's 2 so again for approximate time we have 30 days for a month so times 30 and 360 days for one year so times 360 then you add so 8 then 5 times 30 that's 150 plus 2 times 360, that's 720. So you add all, so 8 plus 150 plus 720, and that's 878 days. Then for the actual time, so we're going to use this calendar. So for November, we have 30, but since uh, started on November 5, so 30 minus 5, so November, that's 25. December, that's 31. January, it's 31. 
February. Again, February always equal to 28 days. Then March, that's 31. Then April, so until April 13. Then you add all, so that's equal to 159 days. But since we still have these two years, and for the actual time, one year is equal to 365 days, so 2 times 365, and that's 730 days. Then you add, so therefore the actual time is 889 days.